Welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. What's up, DBB93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And thank you to everyone that watched the video that is not subscribed to the channel. This reading will be for our Taurus, and this will be to cap off the end of July. So this reading, you guys, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. Without further ado, let's get into your reading. So from the first deck, you guys, the first card that fell out is to release all anger. Don't give power to negative words by saying them. Speak from your higher self and make your communication peaceful and loving. Communicate with your angels. You have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing message to others. Open your heart. Your potential for greater love rests in opening your heart. Blockages and wounds from your past will be healed and you'll be met with the true passion you seek. Magnify your intentions. Choose a specific goal to work towards. Your energy is spread out among too many ideas. Please bring your focus back to the key intention and let your angels help. Cleanse your energy. When you release negativity, the answer to your question shines through. And the last card you guys received from this deck is you are healed. The healing you've prayed for is on its way. Okay, you guys, let's go into the next deck. You have for the first card, the five of winter. Walk away from dishonest associations. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Something that's not worth the effort. The Eight of Summer. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. King of Spring, a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. You have the number three, which is the Empress. And the Empress says, time to take action. The power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. You have the six of autumn. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. Borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. And the last card you guys receive from this deck is the ten of of winter the resolution of difficulties a weight lifted off your sh off your shoulders excuse me the end of an addiction or codependency okay you guys so let's get into your reading Let's see what comes out for you. I feel like this is part of the rebirth for you. It's like um, the death card. It's kind of basically you going into your new beginning. It's you coming through the threshold. And it's not so much as saying that 
you will have more challenges along the way but this is like the breath of fresh air for you it's time to just shine and I feel like when it comes to situations where you may have felt like you were stuck or you may have felt like things weren't taking off at the time and place that you desired them to take off, it was all part of the plan. It was all a part of divine timing. So that's the energy that I'm feeling so far for your reading. But let's see what the cards have to say for you guys. Let's see. I feel like there's a little bit of nervousness here but as I split the deck I do see the death card and I do see the queen of pentacles I'm gonna shuffle again I do feel a little nervousness so you could be could be nervous going into this new beginning um you may not feel as though your feet is planted in the ground but I feel like you are ready, okay? And yeah, <laughs> there we go. That I just said it. The Nine of Wands is here with the Death card, okay? And why are you nervous? The King of Swords with the Devil. There we go. So you're nervous to take action into your new beginning. And I just feel like a part of you may feel like you're not well equipped and this is the divine just telling you that you are well equipped it's that little we're gonna call this the the devil energy it's that little you know bug in the back of your ear telling you that you're not ready but you are okay and when it comes to the situation that you're dealing with with the nine of wands being here it's the insecurity card that you know situations gonna pop up for you where it's gonna you know may maybe make you feel like you're not good enough or you could have people that are coming towards you that makes you feel in a lower vibration what the divine is telling you with these main three cards is to keep your head up deaden that old energy and charge forward because this is for you this is your new beginning don't be afraid to step out boldly and be assertive it it could be where it's people that are saying things because sword is sword excuse me it's part of energy and i mean not energy it's part of words um swords could also be part of a mental state as well but you know, you may feel like in a situation you're tied to either help others because we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. You may feel like you're tied to help others, but the divine is telling you those people will be fine. We will take care of them. You take care of yourself. And it's not to say don't help other people, but I feel like when it comes to a situation that's not your job especially if they can help themselves i feel like when it comes to you a lot someone feels like you're their crutch and that's what ultimately brought you to this situation you will know if this situation pertains to you because what happens is this energy comes in towards you. They'll be nice one moment. And the next moment, they'll be mean. Okay? It's like the energy comes and goes so quickly that when you do for whatever the situation is, and then when you can't do anymore, they're gone. They leave you alone. What the divine is telling you is to stay focused upon your path. Don't allow this devil energy to intervene on the light that you share with the world yes she's holding a pinnacle and it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman you can be a male but ultimately you hold the light the light is you and you have to always remember that so keep your head up and push forward charge forward 
you yield the sword of truth. You have the sword of truth. Be assertive and know where you stand. It could be um, a situation of love here as well. Someone you feel connected to. Doesn't necessarily have to be... It can be platonic, okay? But you feel like, again, it, it still goes back to the same situation. So take the same scenario towards love. But I feel like somewhere in here you feel chained to someone or you feel obligated to have to take care of something here. For one, that's all coming to an end. You feel bound to something here. I feel like it's, it's, it's been draining you for a while. It's an end to that. You're getting away from it. If you see this this night, honey, the devil is right here. The night is going the other way. The night like, look, I can't take it no more. You know, the divine is with you. Like, you right. You ain't got to. You did your work. You did your healing around the situation. Now you're able to take action. Okay? Now you're able to go into a stable foundation. Look at the 1111. If you see it as, you know, twin flames, so me, however you see this, you're able to have a stable foundation. All because you persevered, not this situation, okay? And remember that, take credit when credit is due. And it's not egotistical to stand up and take your bow, okay? That, no, no. No, we're we not saying that. Go ahead, get up and take your bow. Don't rub it in nobody's face. Get up and do it and smile. Be the light that you are. Because I feel like when it comes to this situation, the energy around it is so shaky. Like, the energy to me here is, mm, it's icky. It's sticky. Okay, it's like, you know, them fly traps, they got the little, it, it has the, like the little blue thing and then blue, I think it's like blue and yellow and it has the little sticky part that goes down. That's what this feel like. And if you fly too close to it, you're stuck in it. That's what, that's what this feel like. You didn't got yourself stuck. And it's not to say that, you know, you got yourself stuck on purpose. No, it was a lesson. We're going to say that, but you're moving on from this lesson. You moving on into what? The Ace of Cups. Look at that, okay? You moving on to wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. This situation was draining you, honey. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's close the door. It's not to say that you can't care about whatever this situation was anymore. No. It's not to say that because whoever that situation involves, you can care about them. And it's okay to love people from a distance. Whatever that situation involved. But now you're moving on into... Look, you got an ace over here and you got an ace over there with the four of wands in the middle. Tell me he ain't good, okay? You have this wish fulfillment coming in. It's all around you. It's ready for you. It could have been a long time coming. But now because you've worked through that and you, you've made your path. You made your way. It's here. It could have something to do with money. But this is also having stability within family. Okay, you could be starting your own family here with this. You're coming out of this heartbreak. I don't read reversals, but I feel like this is in reverse. I can feel the cards when they're in reverse. This is in reverse. You're coming out of that heartache, that pain. This is divinely guided. You no longer have to feel like you don't belong. You're creating healthy boundaries. You're not letting other people walk over you anymore. Yeah, that was once your life. But it's not your new life. That's not what you're walking into no more. The divine has shown you the way. Yeah, you may be at the moment going over the past and looking at things that happen true because it's all called a reflection it's all called 
that's a part of your testimony. Okay, that's fine. And it's so good because it's like you're not ashamed of it anymore. You used to be ashamed of it. And that's probably why you put yourself in isolation. You separated from people. You felt like you was this lone wolf. Mm. Okay. I ain't trying to preach. Okay. <laughs> you are the queen of swords. You're open, but at the same time, you're guarded. It's an equal balance here. Where you're not letting everyone in. But you okay with it. You're like, okay. I understand. You're moving on to higher ground. Somebody's coming in. The emperor. Okay. The emperor is here. The emperor, like, look. It could be a love relationship coming in for you. Whoever this emperor is, it could be you. But I feel like this is someone that's entering your life. You could already know this person. If it's not, it's someone new that's coming in because you're healed. You're well manifested. Once you vibrate at a level, this person comes in at the same level and you build. This emperor comes in and wants a commitment. A healing spiritual commitment here. Okay, you better say that. You best to... Ooh, let me stop. Anyway, anyway, y'all. Anyway, don't get me started. And I had my cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. Start a new cycle. A new blissful cycle. Queen, You queen of cupping out here? You queen of cups? Okay. You all up in them love buzz. But remember to stay on your path. Remember to do your mission work. Clarity comes in. Speaking your truth. Not being afraid. It's victory through this situation. Again, like I said, you're going to be telling your testimony. you laying down those burdens. Whoever this person is coming in, they are the king of cups. They're fully emotional with you. It's passion here. It is passion, honey. And they're ready to build. They want to take you from feeling like you're stuck. Okay? And that's what I get from this card. Normally, I would say other things, but no. The Bible was like, uh-uh. That's just being stuck. They're like, keep it simple. <laughs> You feel like you're stuck. You could have been single for a while. Whoever this person is, they come in. Come on, let's go. I got you. I want to build. I want to create. It's victory in this situation. If this is someone coming back into your life, this is a second chance. There you go. Let's get an oracle for you guys. Mm. Okay, no. Because when I set the deck down, these fell out. Someone is making a direction towards you. This person has been already deciding about coming towards you. Okay? It could have been a long time coming, but they're taking a leap of faith to make it towards you. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. But this person is very logical. This person has been taking the time out to plan. Okay? Plan to get themselves together. Plan to make things right. Taking a leap of faith in this situation. Okay? Let's get an oracle, you guys. And I will end you with that. I hope you guys are enjoying this reading. Because I know I did. <laughs> I know I sure did, honey. Let's see. Let's see what the oracle's saying. It was a good one. A real good one. Don't clam up on me now, y'all. Y'all just don't want me to leave y'all reading. That's what it is. I see, I see. No, I need an oracle. I need an oracle. Y'all just don't want me to leave y'all energy. It's okay. Okay. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Here we go. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Mm, okay, I feel like this goes with y'all's situation as well. And it was at the bottom of the day. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever 
feelings live below the triggers. Okay, you guys. So that is the end of your reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.